All right, guys. Uh, continuing with the tools, uh, the antique and vintage tools series I'm doing. Um, these are uh, I'm considering these tools. They certainly were made by a tool forging company, and um, these are just, uh, three of the treasures left by my brother Sonny, and uh, which I just dug out and uh, thought you guys would enjoy looking at up close. Um, the first one here is a um, this is a uh, and Model A and Model T screw jack. Okay, I've seen them online, many listings online for these. Um, they, the prices range between 40 and 60 bucks. But, uh, you know, I, I don't care about the pricing of these things because I have no interest in selling them at all. These are vintage treasures to me. Um, we'll be staying on the shelf and passed down to my grandsons. Um, this is a simple screw jack. It has a ratcheting little tooth here, which swings one way or the other engages in the gear there which in turn turns the other gear which in turn turns the screw raising and lowering the jack very very simple mechanical device uh, beautiful it really is beautiful and um, it does have a script marking on it over here very hard to see yeah I, I mean very hard to see I, I'm not even gonna bother trying to show you it but it does have the Ford script on it and um, it has a number B553. What the heck that might mean, I don't know. I guess that would maybe tell us if we could search it, uh, what the weight capacity would be. But looking at the diameter of that screw, it's at least one inch. The torque on those two gears, I imagine this thing could lift at least a ton, if not two. Um, so uh, I wouldn't want to be the person to have to lower it, uh, I'll tell you that, because if that handle slipped out, uh, with the weight on it, that uh, that might be an accident waiting to happen. But um, anyway, it's a beautiful old jack, beautiful, very vintage. I'd say 1920s, uh, at least 1920s. All right, so that's the first one. Now we move on to the second jack here. This is a beautiful mint condition Wagner, Wagner jack, original oak handle. Everything on this jack is 100% original functioning. Okay, so. It's a Wagner number three, one ton, uh, Racine, Wisconsin, USA. It's made. Okay, brass tag there. Um, I'm going to show you how it works. It works. This thing goes up and down like butter. Sucker's got to go up shee, two feet uh, at least. Um, so, simple little ratcheting device here up and down. And uh, very simple and uh, beautiful, beautiful jack. Beautiful. The emblem is in mint condition, really perfect. The third thing I have to show you is uh, I'm considering it a tool. Certainly it was a tool for the uh, the bottling company. First people that put out bottled soda. This is a bottle of corker, a bottle of capper. Okay, first I thought it was a wine bottle corker. Um, because of the size of the uh, diameter of this here. But um, now I'm realizing that it is a bottle capper because... Uh, and uh, before I take this out, I want to show you this here little tightening arm here tightens it to the size. You can raise and lower this to any size bottle, any size bottle, and put your bottle in there, and uh, it works. So let me take that bottle out of there. I put that in there just for demonstration, that old bottle. But on the bottom here, I don't think you're going to be able to see it in this light, but it says Jiffy Bottle Company, Goshen, New York. So it is a bottling. Uh, company. So, um, bottle capping, I think it says. Jiffy Bottle Capper. So, Goshen, New York. Like I said, you can adjust it up and down for any size. And judging by the diameter of that base, you could do either 12 ounce or 10 ounce, whatever bottles like this. Or, uh, you know, quart, quart
good size bottles, but I just put that bottle in here for a display. So it'll look kind of cool. But uh, I don't know the vintage of, of that really, but um, man, can you imagine having to bottle every single bottle one at a time? One at a time. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome when you really think of it, man. That's got to be at least, I don't know, I would guess 1920s, 1930s. Um, I got to clean it up, see if I can find a date on it. Um, as I've said before, guys, I, I don't go crazy. Uh, I don't like restoring these things. Um, I like cleaning them up, trying to find the numbers and names on them, uh, which I haven't had time with these three. But um, I don't like to restore them. I like to keep them in their vintage look, you know, like most uh, antique uh, dealers say, keep the patina. Um, I, I like to make them look old. I like to keep them, let them show their age. Uh, they worked hard to uh, survive. These are three survivors for sure. So uh, they deserve to have their character, I think. Um, they shouldn't be cleaned up. I've actually seen guys, seen a couple of those Jacks online guys actually cleaned them and painted them silver or black or whatever. I think that's the stupidest thing you can do. That's just my opinion. So um, anyway... Three cool items, uh, treasures left to me, and I uh, thought you guys would enjoy them. And uh, any comments or information you can give me on e any of the three, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Book them, Daniel.